And I see him out there campaigning for Crooked Hillary. Come on. An aggressive campaign and Donald Trump's aggressive start to the U.S. presidency hasn't just split up the country, it's splitting up families. For Gail McCormick, the fact that her husband mentioned he was planning on voting for Trump during the primaries was a deal breaker. Now she's separating from him after 22 years. I was incensed. I said, I can't believe that somebody that I would be married to would vote for someone whose track record is so obviously poor in terms of civil liberties, uh, his feelings about women, how he treats people in general. Her husband ended up writing in Newt Gingrich in the general election, but the damage was already done. Even months after the election, a number of Americans say the emotional wounds are as raw as ever and show few signs of healing. A Reuters Ipso poll found the number of people who argued with family and friends over politics jumped six percentage points since October to 39 percent. Sixteen percent said they've stopped talking to a family member or friend because of the election. Still, there's a flip side to all this division. Our poll found 21 percent said they became friends with someone they didn't know because of the election. As she settles into her new home in Bellingham, Washington, Gail McCormick says she's deeply concerned about what's coming out of a Trump administration. I think that um, women's rights are in jeopardy. I, I'm, I'm really frightened at his cabinet choices. I'm frightened about Benny being on the National Security Council. And while politically and physically apart, in many ways the couple remains close with no plans to divorce, but plans to vacation together. I think we've done a marvelous job in doing that and maintaining the friendships that we've made together. I'm, I'm very proud of that. I'm scared. I'm really scared. I'm, I'm scared I have to find a new dentist. I have to find a new doctor. You know, <laughs> Those are things that... Uh, they don't seem like much, but when you're 73 and you have diabetes and you've had a stroke, you know, it, it gets scary to find new people, you know, and, and starting over.